Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I've got quite a lot going on. There's a lot of lathe work, um, machine tapers. I show sure quite a bit of that. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. On Friday, I went to the Model Engineering Exhibition uh, at Doncaster. It, it was amazing how many people come and said hello and shook my hand. It was really great uh, to meet some of yours. It was fantastic. Anyway, thanks very much for making us feel so welcome. It uh, was quite humbling actually. This morning I went to a car boot sale and I picked some items up. I actually quite a lot of small Whitworth spanners and BSF spanners which are going to be ideal for the steam engine so you wouldn't have to suffer as using an adjustable spanner anymore. There's some viewer meal come in, I'll show you that as well. Hi, my name's Zoe and welcome to Uncle John's Sunday Night Draw. And the winner is David. David Pritchard. Thank you. Say bye. Bye. Great, right, that was great. Thanks for that. I'll get that in the post as soon as I get your address. I'm going to do another giveaway this week. I'm going to do keep on doing giveaways because people are giving us things to give away. As a set of twelve mil. Taps here, full set, brand new. Once again, my friend Bob picked me up at a car boot sale. I've got one brand new set and several used sets, so it's, it's pointless me keeping it. So if you want a chance at winning that, all you have to do is send me an email with your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. That's my email address up there. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post it off anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. As I keep saying, it's just a little way I thank the people for all the help and support I've had with this YouTube channel. This is the metric tap set for the giveaway. 12 by 175 standard metric taper, second hand plug tap, brand new, possibly used ones. Thanks once again for that, Bob. These are the Whitworth spanners I picked up the car boot sale. I only paid £2 for all of them. Lion brand, that doesn't look like it's been used that one, nowhere else. It's a King Dick spanner there. I've actually still got some King Dick gear that I bought when I was an apprentice. Anyway, they're all Gordon, Gordon's good gear. Another Gordon spanner. Gido was a, a good make. I'm sure what that one is. 3 16 quarter. All the sizes I need for the steam engine, as I said, it'll save you having to watch me torture nuts and bolts with adjustable spanners. I got a parcel from Spain, it came last week, from a gentleman called Pasquale Molina. I don't think I've spelt his name right. Anyway, inside the package, there was a, like a shop overall, which I'll be able to wear, but there was also this. Planometer to me it's got something to do with angles. I'm not quite sure what it is. One thing I do know is it's real, it's a real quality item. If anybody knows what it is for, it would be great if you can get in touch with us and let us know. I could have a look on the internet and find out, but it's it's more fun guessing, I think. Whatever it is, it's really, really well made. It looks quite old as well. Anyway, thanks very much. That's one item that I certainly won't be giving away. That'll be something I'll be going to keep and treasure. Thank you very much. I took quite a lot of film when I was at the exhibition. Uh, my friend Mick had the spare camera. He got some good shots as well. All I've done, I've just joined them all together. Um, just basically so you get a feel of what the exhibition's all about for people that, that haven't gone and obviously people abroad who won't probably ever get. Uh, it shows some of the stalls, some of the tools in some of the models. Uh, just a, a mismatch of clips. I think it's quarter of an hour long. I'll either put it on as one of the nightcaps or possibly even an extra video at the end. It depends how I get on editing because it's it's getting late now. I got an involved machine at Tapa and I've spent far too much time in the shop this year when I should have been editing. Anyway, I can do whatever I want, I suppose. 
the two only tractor lads will recognise that as a tractor ignition switch. What I need to do is cut out that shape there just to make a little back plate so you can mount it on his dashboard. Right, that's not a bad looking result at all. Very little flash on the back of it. I've actually drilled those holes, but I've burnt the holes out five. I put a six mil drill through them. A little bit of work with a file on there, and it should fit no problem. Very little to come out, it's surprisingly how accurate the, the plasma has actually managed to cut it. Very little. Sure, I'll be happy at that. If it goes that way around, that's the, the better face. Obviously, the flat just stops the, the switch from turning. So you put a six mil drill through there now, and you can polish it and paint it or whatever he wants to do with it. It's actually quicker to draw that with a CAD software, burn it out than it would be to mark it out and cut it and fail it. It's just so, so quick and convenient. Blended. I didn't actually buy much at the model engineering exhibition. At least the way he's watching that's what I'm going to see. I bought a set of, to me, small screwdrivers. The full set was only £2. A while ago, a friend gave us a, this old brake chuck, and I wanted to get an Aurea adapter so I can use it on the mill machine for smaller drills. I couldn't find the one to fit it, but I did get a, a Morse taper adapter, so at least now I know what angle it is, and I bought a blank Orient Arbor, so I'll be able to machine that 
tape or let it fit that, that will make a quite interesting video. Another thing I didn't buy, one of my viewers give us, is a pair of cylinders. They will appear to be local type cylinders, I don't know that much about them. Uh, they're going to be thrown away, you can't, you can't let things like that be thrown away. If anybody can shed some light on them, as to what sort of look or they're off, it will be quite interesting. The machine is not quite bad on them, it's fairly decent. My piston valve goes in there. I'm going to make an adapter so I can use this swiveling DTI mount on the lathe. I've taken the magnet off, <laughs> my friend Bob's already claimed that. Right, that's a tool hole that I'm going to use, it simply locks onto there like that. And I've got a piece of key steel here which is a nice fit in there. So I'm going to drill and tap a hole in there, which means I can use the mountain either that end or I can turn it round, put it at that end. And I'm also going to drill and tap the end of that, which means I can put the tool hole, the DPI mount in there, or even in there. It's going to be quite a universal fixture. Right, we'll put this in the lathe and we'll drill and tap one end of the mill, then we'll go at the milling machine and drill and tap the mill through there. Are brilliant, just straight in, no problem at all, no backing off. So the swap gears nicely. Nice, keen, shiny thread. So we've got nice threads in one end. We'll put some threads in here. Center of that, or the approximate center of it, hasn't got to be 100%. Right, we've
can see the little clip that's been left well I roughly machined the face so we can use that to line the that looks pretty good at that I could actually do with slightly more speed on this, but we've only got one to drill, so... It's nice for you to use this case steel, as long as you don't get it hot, but if you get it hot, it actually hardens. If I get it hot, I mean, if you use a grinder on it, it uh, will get hot and it will go hard. This is where the inverter on this middle of the jog feature is really, really handy. Okay, so it's quite a simple fixture. That way to run at the end of the bar. You want to clock the end in. And it moves basically any way you want it to go or at least it should, it should do, yeah there you go so you enter there I'm sure it's going to be quite a handy a handy tool I might actually get a smaller one and modify a smaller one could be more useful a small one and then I can use this for a camera mount as well but it's um, it does exactly what it's what it's supposed to do basically anywhere you like but it's not in use it'll just live up there out of harm's way 